Hello, let's talk about log functions. Um, first, to understand a log function, you really need to understand an exponential function. Um, first, I have here a y equals log of x, and we're going to graph and understand different bases of log functions. This function is really log base 10 of x. And whenever there's not a base, it's always understood as base 10. Okay, let's just understand this in the context of an exponent. This is the same as, well, let's go ahead and write a base 10 here just to understand it. It's normally not there in the original problem, but this really means 10 to the y power equals x. 10 to what powers equals x? These are exactly the same. It's basically this solve for y is a log function. So now let's understand how to, oh, just understand some basic properties. Let's write out some convenience points, I like to call them. Um, convenience points are basically those that are pretty easy to work with. Um, let's start with log base 10, which is log, of, and we're going to plug in x equals 1. x equals 1. Hmm. We're saying 10 to the what power equals 1. Well, that's 0, okay? That's a convenience point. So if we plug in 1 for x, y is 0. Let's plug in another convenience point, And I'm going to use the same base. Hmm. Log base 10 of 10. Well, that's saying 10 to the what power is 10. Well, that's just 1. So now x equals 10, y is equal to 1. Another convenience point, I'm going to take 10 and square it. A few ways to think about that, but you're going to log base 10 of 100. Hmm. I'm saying 10 to what power is 100? Well, that's just 2. Another way to think about this, just understanding log rules, I could write this as log base 10 of 10 squared. Well, notice that these are the same bases, so your answer is simply going to be 2. Just another way to think about it. Um, so with that said, 100, x is 100, y is 2. Hmm. Well, let's look at another, some more convenient points. Watch what I'm going to do. Let's say log of 1, log base 10 of 1 over 10. Hmm. Well, 10 to what power is 1 over 10? Well, it's going to be negative 1. Why? Because 10 to the negative 1 power, remember the negative exponent rule? That's really 1 over 10. Another convenience. So whatever this is, I just wrote the reciprocal of it, and it's going to be negative 1. If this base was 1 tenth and this was 10, it would be the same property. Just remember that. Okay, um, so with that said, if this is 1 over 10, this is negative 1. Well, what's the next one? What if this is 1 over 100? Same principle, excuse me, that's 100. Um, you're saying log of base 10 and then 1 over 100, well, that's basically going to be negative 2 because 10 to the negative 2 power is equal to 1 over 10 squared and 1 over 10 squared is equal to 1 over 100 so here we have negative 2 for a solution this is more than enough to plot this particular graph Okay, let's plot these points. We're going to plot 1, 0, over 1, up 0, which will be here. Um, 10, 1, over 10, way out here someplace. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just going to estimate. It's going to be over here. Somewhere. Actually, a little higher. I'm wrong. We'll be about here. If this were out 10, just understand it's just a picture of it. I'm going to go um, negative 1. Excuse me, one tenth negative one. Uh, looks like I have to go to part two.